Also on the Hill, state Democrats objecting today to the way the Republican supermajority is handling debate on some important measures. They say it is all too easy for Republicans to stop debate before it even starts. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran is joining us. Kyle, what is happening in the state legislature? Well, Carrie and Rory, since the Republicans have about 75% of the power here at the state capitol, what's called a supermajority, they can use a rule to cut off debate on the floors basically at any time. And according to Democrats, this happened yesterday on three separate bills. Two of the bills involve how transgender students are dealt with at schools and in sports. The bills would allow teachers to ignore a student's preferred pronoun without repercussions around discrimination and stop transgender girls from competing in female sports up through the college level. The third bill has to do with preventing local governments from stopping oil pipelines from being built in their areas, which happened in Memphis in 2021. People there rallied against a local petroleum pipeline because of the chance it could pollute the Memphis aquifer. That's their source of water. Debate on all three bills was either cut off with few arguments heard, or in one case, no debate was allowed at all. All that has to happen is one Republican calls to end the debate. Then if they get more than two thirds of the vote from the body, no one else can speak. Democrats say these bills need to have debate, even if there's a slim chance that they're dropped because they are directed at certain groups. And as Memphis Democrats fear, will likely undo local rules. If we come right up here and pass a bill to bypass city council, municipalities, and counties that saw the importance of stopping that installation of the pipelines there. City council, why would we, as a state, uh, defy your city council and municipalities where the people live? Yeah, and Speaker Cameron Sexton's office sent us a statement today saying that they actually followed the rules on this as they're written. But Democrats still say that this is an abuse of power and even the voices of the minority of voters in the state should be heard. Reporting live, Kyle Haran, News Channel 5.